It's Friday, and the mascots are ready to party. I'm not sure why I said it like that. Yeah, Hello, everyone. yeah, what the fuck? It's Mascot Friday, the place where you party, apparently. Apparently. Oh, I'm so done with this week. We're going to finish it off and then never speak of it ever again. No more weeks. This week is now being executed live here on <laughs> Twitch.tv via the medium of mascot platformers, and I hope you'll join us for it. We should bring that back. You know how back in time they used to have public execute anyway. Okay, real quick, before Danny says something else, um, I want to thank uh, the folks who uh, subscribed for the show. Thank you very much to Smubble Bear. 36 month resub. Holy fucking moly. Too many months. Thank Smubble you. Smubble Bear, thank you, says, uh, my kind of stream. True. Cactus B, thank you so much for the four month resub. Cactus B says, oh God. So that's a good sign. Mm -hmm. That's always a good sign when, when our chat is uh, screaming, oh God. And Definitely, for sure. Thank you. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So, Danny, what are we doing this week? Well, the people have spoken. And out of the options on this week's poll, which were contributed by friends of the, f the show on our Discord channel, mm -hmm. thank you for that. The winner is That's So Raven 2. Supernatural style. Let's get this started. I, I hold on. I okay. Now I have to wonder what will be missing by not playing the first one. But the first one is apparently an adventure game, not a uh, you know, platformer like we do. Huh. Uh huh. Okay. All right. We'll. Uh, we'll there you go. See. Oh, oh! I forgot. I have to play video games. Remember triangle and circle. Gotcha. Thank you. Yep, we're uh, misting it up. Mm-hmm. Eight? Eight to him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> happy, happy Friday, everybody. Oh, oh, God. Okay, all right. That is Raven. Mm-hmm. We're off to That's a great Raven. start. That's Raven. All Okay. I'm glad we're doing this. Me too. I've said before we have to fill out the mascot list with so many GBA platformers, and it's about time we really start <laughs> covering the uh, the licensed stuff. Electric Boogaloo mentioned that that company has changed their name to Behavior Interactive now. Yeah, for some reason. Huh, I wonder why. All right. What are the options? Yeah, that's good. Okay, but, but, but what else? What's the bonus? <laughs> You're just delaying the inevitable. <laughs> Please let me delay the inevitable in my life. Okay, let's play. The school. <laughs> there she is. Hey, Raven. <laughs> That's both, me right now. Both characters looking a little bit Sega CD right now. I thought the, thought the GBA had more colors in its palette, but oh well. Alright, so this is That's So Raven, a live action show on the Disney Channel? Yes. That's all I know about it. She's what do psychic. You know? What, really? Yes. Raven is psychic. That's what you need to know. Okay. All right. This is promising then. Right? Like I'm not. I'm, I remembered that correctly, right? She's psychic, right? Like she has psychic powers, right? Or am yeah. I just please, fucking st please state your uh, that's so Raven facts in the chat. Did you know that's so Raven? Oh. Oh, thank God I'm sure. right. Okay. She is. She is psychic. All right. So oh, every, to... everyone always wants the pals to suffer. And anyway, even if the bad games end up winning, we got to play them eventually. But who's to say this is bad? This could be really good. Oh, shit. This lady... Okay, so Raven needs to get some tickets before they get sold out. But she's like, my friend is acting kind of funky. And it looks like our friend has a surprise for us. And I am a little worried. Hmm. Oh, shit. What the fuck is happening? Oh, you're having a deadly premonition. I got a vision piece! <laughs> <laughs> got to complete your vision board. Okay, so... Is that a toilet? Oh, a trash can. Okay, I see. They're letting me know what I can do here with my, uh, vision sight. Okay. So, they just like, hey, here's a platformer, and here's how you platform. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. Pre-distressed okay. jeans and platform heels. That's the way to do it. Okay. That's how I platform. Okay. She's she's dressed really well for a mascot platformer star. I, I gotta have, say. I do, yeah. Most I, of them, they just wear like a shirt, not even pants. Well, they're also animals, but... Okay, she has fall damage. There's fall damage. And it's not just fall damage, it's kind of... I'm sorry to say, it's kind of weak fall damage. Yeah. Why is there fall damage in your school? Why are you platforming in your school? Okay, I'm just gonna keep going that way. Can you run? 
you found the DLC. <laughs> I cannot I paid, run. I paid a dollar fifty extra so oh. you could get the cheerleader outfit. Oh, I can't. Okay, let me see if that makes me run any faster here. Yeah, this school is not exactly structurally safe. It's pretty inventive, though. I mean, you get the kids active, get them moving, get some exercise in outside the gym class. Okay. Is that a loud screech noise when she starts to run? No, no! Oh, oh, oh. man! Well, sorry, Raven. You Broke your leg on the leg. first day of school. Platforming on the school platforms. Okay. So Raven 2 Spelunker. <laughs> Mascot High. Definitely not ADA compliant. It's a shame. Mm -hmm. Did you see that, Danny? No, what happened? Watch this. I missed it. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. This is really reminding me of the Super Nintendo Beavis and Butthead game, mostly because it takes place in school. And I think that's literally an enemy from that game. Okay, we're gonna create the new it band. Was was the surprise for me the uh getting my ass kicked? Surprise! That's horrible. Okay, hey, I Is this I don't annoying when I, I do this? <laughs> I don't think I can go that way. Let me go out. It's no wonder you're getting lockers shoved in your face. I agree, Cambrian. This is hundred percent uh visual novel ass music. <laughs> it is. Okay, I okay, so I need to go up again. That's fine. I can do it now. <laughs> Cartoon screech noise kills me. Just because she's a real person. This is a live action TV show. Uh, apparently there's multiple Cory in the house games as well, but they're on DS. We gotta cover those eventually. Nope! It's fine. I'm normal. Don't worry about me. It was noted that maybe you only suffer fall damage as a result from a jump. Like, maybe if you just fall, you don't get damaged. Try that. Takes place in the school and you have a dash meter. Oh my god, it is just Buster Bust Loose. Get ready to put this one above Bubsy then. Okay, I don't know if I can make that jump. <laughs> I'm giving up on it. Certainly not in heels. What are you thinking? Yeah, that's the thing! Why am I in... Can I jump on any of these? Oh, it's suggested you change into the cheerleader costume to get new abilities. Okay. That um, sounds reasonable. Let me, uh... Yeah, view your fashion portfolio. <laughs> Good. Thank you, Laser Belt, for the 18 months. They say you guys really put the pal in Retro Pals. Wait, wrong stream. Yeah, that's Wednesday, but thank you anyway. Oh my god, where is it? Hold on, I need to put my legs back. <laughs> is that a cheerleader outfit? No, that's my normal outfit. Okay. Uh, how do I do L and R? L and R? Yeah, L and L1 and R1. Hmm. Well, I, let's go back and let me see if I can access that. Yeah, they really shouldn't penalize you for being late to class when there's so many platforms you have to jump through. Okay, so I need to collect the vision pieces. Got it. How do I... Does anybody know how to change outfits? Because... Select? I tried that. That takes me here. Yeah, I know. No, 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 get me the fuck out of here. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, This yeah. game has quick save. All right, so if you really want to cheese the platforms, yeah, you can use the quick save feature. Okay, I'll figure like this Jazz out. Jackrabbit. Maybe I need to go into the locker to do this. Let me... Possibly. Um, no, I already have the cheerleader. Okay, I'm going to try a bunch of shit here. Sorry if this is annoying to the audience. Okay. Can you go this way? Oh, I don't think I went into... No, I can't go into that door. Yeah, I don't... Okay, I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try Yeah, take off that. your clothes. There's probably a cheerleader outfit underneath. Oh, that's awful. Okay, hold on. Don't... The manual for this game is not online. That's good. Okay, let's try this. No. Maybe that's just wishful thinking. Maybe it's a cosmetic kind of thing. I yeah. think you can make that jump if you try. Just hold B the entire time. Okay. It definitely looks like you can make this. Wow, it's not on Moby Games. This is a hidden gem. Maybe, maybe they should have designed it so it eases you into this. Maybe they should have just tried a recreation of 1-1 from Mario. It 
looks a little demanding, especially for the two-year-olds who are going to be playing this, aka us. There you go! Yeah. That was so fucking hard, oh my god. Maybe I'm just bad at video games? <laughs> Retro Mode just played the first game in the series. Yeah, that's supposedly an adventure game, right? This one is for- whoa, look at this <laughs> dude! Chess! Steve Holt! No, it's simple. You just turn into a ghost and then do a somersault underneath. I still got hit though. Who's gonna hit you anyway? You're losing all your health. I am. It's really you have funny a, though. You have a stamina meter. It looks like that determines how many times you can roll. Okay. Himbo alert. <laughs> I just want to say when I got smacked with the locker it was really fucking funny. Hmm. I don't think those girls like me. I'm gonna. I think. I think that's literally his name. Yeah, Chad Unit. Okay, I'm gonna go... I got I got asked to save, so I'm gonna save right now. I'm not sure how many times Raven battled power lifters in the show. I gotta admit, I've never seen a single Here episode of the show that may Sounds be disqualifying. <laughs> Dad, they murdered you. Oh, they tell me talk to the hand, and it kills me! Should've listened. The hand ain't listening. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, okay, cool, I start here with my... Okay, that's not so bad. I wonder if I can just float under them. Hold on. Are the pies your lives? It would okay. be nice if there were infinite lives in this. Cool! I can just do that, apparently. Nice. Uh -oh. What is... okay. Ignore it. It's fine. Yeah, this is a That's So Ravenvania. <laughs> They're dealing psychic damage. Makes sense. <laughs> Did you hit me with a pie? I'm gonna go up and flex at you. Alex, I, I hate to tell you this, but I think this might be one of those uh, bad games. How? We one don't of, play one bad them, games. One of them Kuso gay. Oh! Oh, you got climbing. Get that bowl of fruit. I mean, outfit piece. Okay. <laughs> Did you hear him? He's yeah, like, hey. He made that generic hey noise. <laughs> that noise was in uh, Jurassic Park Interactive for 3DO. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm rolling her away. Yeah, there are some Prince of Persia elements, I guess, if you can <laughs> hang on uh, ledges. Oh, we have crate pushing. Alert. We have crate pushing. It's an actual video game now. It's cool that you can send out your psychic uh, persona to do your dirty work. Oh, man. What's that called? A stand? Yeah, it's your, uh, it's your, you're astrally projecting yourself into the game dimension. Into the tutorial dimension, I should say. Powerful Tortoise subscribes for 11 months and says, Raven voice. I don't know what Raven's voice sounds like. Hey, Zach, wandering these halls reminds me of one of our favorite flicks. Haven't guessed it yet? Of course I'm talking about Max Keeble's big move. How could you forget? The perfect hyper-realistic depiction of school life with that. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this having, nerdling! Having recently uh, finished Deadly Premonition 2, I appreciate that. Did you notice how every oh, single- Oh, look at this! How every single Help movie me. he talks about in that game, he talks about how realistic it is. That was my favorite part. Ghostbusters, very realistic. Okay, no. Oh god, I almost fell down a hole. Okay. Yeah, you just gotta roll away from the haters. Cool. This music, I'm kinda liking it. Me too! I didn't at first, but it's grown on me. Yes, there is fall damage, a la Bubsy. <laughs> we should probably make a separate list for platformers with fall damage. That's like we a really special should. special ring of hell. We really should. There was a sequel Raven show? Isn't this part of like some larger shared universe on the Disney Channel? It is. I know. I think that Corey is in this universe, but yeah. I could be fucking wrong. Please correct me on that. I don't want to That's what I thought. See, he's in the house. That's all I know about that. Yeah, this is what happens when you underfund American schools. This is kind of a Silent Hill setting, isn't it? Yeah, you've suddenly gone into the steam furnace world. Oh, 
Oh shit, look what I saw. Oh my god. Corey's her brother, okay. She says while getting steam blasted in her face. <laughs> that's that's a death warp, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh snap. Snap, I can't believe I got killed in the school's furnace room again. Okay, do I have the, uh, hold on, let me make sure I have all the vision pieces here. Oh, I do, okay, so I don't have to go back that way. Yep, but... literally burned to death. Congrats, With Seconds man. of starting the game, you can get burned to death in your school's, uh, really rickety-looking furnace. Yeah, I don't know why I'm here, personally, but who am I to complain? Wait, there's still lockers there. Maybe this is a Silent Hill thing. It's down this way. Oh, the color wheel. Cool, I can, uh, tint my clothing now? Wait, 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 what's this about Hannah Montana and Wizards? I missed it, Danny. Hold up. I'm on it. Yeah, sounds like it. <laughs> if there, if it's true and there's a big shared universe here and if Hannah Montana's part of it, then sure. Wizards. Why not? A wizard turned her into Hannah Montana. Against Billy Ray Cyrus's wishes. Okay, I, I will. I love my outfit, por outfit portfolio. I can't pronounce shit today. There we go. Down, down. Yeah. yeah, you gotta help Chelsea before that dude eats her hair. I guess she was in danger. <laughs> okay, uh, good news. Uh, how do I. How do I. Am I. Nope, too late. You can't be joking. The Hannah Montana Extended Universe definitely exists now. Hmm, so this is funny. I have an issue. Wizards on deck with Hannah Montana. Oh, is that like the Sweet Life of, with, of Zack and Cody and shit? Sounds like it. Not Sweet Life, but they had like a... Wasn't there a Zack and Cody show where they had like... They lived on a fucking cruise ship or some shit? Yeah, Zack and Cody get a boat, I think it was called. Mm. So I have an issue. I am trapped. Are you? Let me see. Do a super jump. I... Yep. I'm trapped. Nice. Want to hand it over? Oh yeah, sweet life on deck. That's what it was there called. There you go. Thank you. Good work, Alex. Have fun! You can grab onto the ledges with the up button, but I wasn't able to do it. Let's see if Andy can do it. It's kind of awkwardly positioned. There we go. Oh, there you go. Thanks. Good job, Danny. You just gotta think like Prince of Persia. Mm, mm. You know, that game we haven't ranked yet, but instead we're ranking that Soul Raven too. Listen. It's gotta be it's gotta be Raven. This is this design here is uh well, I guess I shouldn't criticize it. It is just a licensed kids game. Still, if I were to look at any screenshot of this game, my first thought would be, holy god, this is so garish. <laughs> this is the most garish thing I've seen in my entire life. Alright, we took a shortcut to the third floor of the school, I guess? Yo, Devin. Oh, hi, Raven. No one has time for Raven. Oh, but he wants to call us tonight, I see. Men only want one thing call me. To call me and waste my time. Shit, nice. You well, did you almost, it! You almost beat level one. Good job. Yeah, if I only figured out those controls, but good job Danny getting out there. Hey, Ray. Sorry, Ray. Yeah, this is just a series of apologies. Don't meet Devin. He's gonna eat your hair. That's not... I gotta say, I love Raven's outfit. I just, that is so quintessential of the time period, and it is, mm. Yeah, it's taken me back to the, what was this, early 2000s? Yeah, God, I hate that nerd guy. I don't know if he's an enemy or not, but he's an enemy to me. Early 2000s just kind of evaporated as like a, uh, a time in our lives. <laughs> Seems to me it was just the 90s and now this, where we're living right now. Maybe I have memory loss. M maybe. Wait, what did that say? 1020? It was 10 something 85. It sorry. won't let me see it again. Nope, sorry, honey. <laughs> That'll teach me to skip through the text. I can use 
just jumping up. Yeah, the she's door. just walking all over the computer it's fine. lab. Ten, twelve, eighty-five. Thank you, Macro. I'm actually okay. gonna. I'm glad someone was paying that. attention. Yeah. Not me. I'm not paying attention to shit. Let's talk to the nerdlinger. Oh. What's he doing? You start to move really slowly when he follows you. That's weird. What does that mean? Let's not think about it. Okay. Hey, hey, what is that? Uh, the the magic machine. There we go. Hey, this school is very dangerous. <laughs> uh, down and B get you down, I think. Or just try nope. double tap down. There you go. There you go. Good. <laughs> Fall damage. I know, right? That's, that's insulting somehow. This game has fall damage. Does that make it more fun? Let's ask the kids who played this. Did anyone play this? Uh, maybe not. I, I didn't. I mean, to be fair, I was also an adult when this came out, so... But I did play the Cory in the House game, because by the time I played that, I was a depressed adult, so that's how it goes. How was it? I don't remember jack shit about it. Oh god. Yeah, I don't know how to avoid damage there. Not so sure about this one. Not so sure if it stands up to the classics of the era. Your Sonics, your Marios, your uh See that you talk of the hand, but it's like a date it's like a killer talk of the hand. You can also hit them with pies, I think. Ha! Take that. And when you get they get hit with pies, they get frozen, which means they can uh you can uh not the controls in here are bad. They're very stiff. They don't work like you think they should. Oh, this background. This background is so crunchy. I'm just saying, this place seems a little, uh, you know, dangerous. No, this is fine. Look at this, jumping up here with the pipes on these cracked floors. My favorite pastime. This is the, uh, Urbex episode of That's So Raven. She's just got style, though. Yeah, I, I, I gotta admire that walk cycle. I love the walk cycle. You will never see. Ain't nothing getting her down. Mm -hmm. You will Steam never... blast to the face, <laughs> cracked floors, dying from falling twenty feet. Mm -hmm. Doesn't let anything get in her way. Mm -mm. On the other hand, this seems kind of open-ended for this kind of game, which I really don't like. I would much prefer it to be simpler. Jeez, that was a lot of damage. Especially when there's so many rooms to go in. Maybe this is what the kids wanted. Oh no, Maybe there's there's a back and forth thing to this level. I'm already lost. Yeah. I think I think I just went here. You did, you did. Good boy. I hate Chad Hardchest there. Uh, something <laughs> about him just pisses me off. <laughs> Just wandering around the school, flexing at people. Mm -hmm. The copy machine. I just, again, why is this school so dangerous? Is it beat around? No, it's double tapping the left yeah. Oh, ugh. see, see, duh. you get it now. Mm. You're not winning me over. That's so Raven Two for Game Boy Advance. Oh, thank God school's finished. Uh-oh. She's doing something underhanded. She doesn't want Raven to hear. Wait, why doesn't she want them to get together? It's a big mistake. But why? Devin, like, farts all the time. Oh, that all makes sense. All the time. Oh, shit, there's a meter on the bottom. He's got to solve that. Is this now a stealth game? Who are you trying to fucking... I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't tell you anything about this game. It baffles me. Okay, there's a key down there it looks like you need to get. Key? Okay. Yeah, see? I don't know if you need to go there now. Oh, yeah, no. see? I noticed, the, I noticed the meter down there, but I didn't notice the timer that's been counting down. We're good. We're fine. We just got 45 seconds to keep our best friend from making the biggest mistake of her life. Going out with Fart Boy. Yeah, take that. <laughs> Up yours, authority. 
Oh my god, Raven! <laughs> Raven! Anarchy! Anarchy! I love you! Raven's cool now! Time's up. Okay, now that guy's on the move, so... Oh, I see. There's two separate timers. Or that they're on the move. Yep, can't go through here. The floor's wet. Good. Okay, leave them. the books in front of the door because you're trying to block the exit so that so that lady cannot leave the school. Hey, hey, thank you for the advice, but Magmaram, what the fuck? That is so fucked up. Yeah, now you can't leave. <laughs> this is so messed up. Why are we... Why are we... Why are we trapping this poor kid? You can't go through this door either. Because I'm here. No, that face. it's normal. We're normal. Don't worry about it, ma'am. Oh, that pixelated face. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I gotta do this all over again. Okay, so it's stealth, but you've also got a... Snake, your mission is to keep these two from becoming friends. <laughs> oh my god, I'm losing my mind. You can't jump on the ladders. This is a bad game. Alright, you got All this. Alright, we gotta go get the key. And we gotta knock over the water cooler. <laughs> I like knocking over the water cooler the most, honestly. Meh. Wow, even I can't get past it now. Where's the teachers? Someone should be preventing this from happening. They're just not paid enough, you know? No. Oh, too far. I want to get the, the clock. Oh, toy, yeah. What did that... Doesn't give me more time on the timer that I needed. Okay, well, just hurry up to the whatchamacallit so you can get there first. Where am I going? The, the key, the door to lock it, and then you should be good. This one? Yeah, just lock it. Okay, now uh, go up there and stay the fuck out of that, that lady's way. <laughs> My master there. plan. And just hide your ass, yeah. yeah. I'm hiding in the little alcove. Alright, here we go. Yeah, this does have... Uh... This does have virtual... Yeah, most people have had virtual novel vibes with the music, or Phoenix Wright vibes. It's really... Yeah. yeah. This is music to read text by. Mm -hmm, Good really... thing, because there's a lot of text. <laughs> okay, apparently this is by the same composer as the Game Boy Advance Jazz Jackrabbit game. No, we dance, lessons. dance lessons. Mission accomplished? <laughs> what Raven wants, Raven gets. He's guilty. I'm sorry I kept Ants listening to seek Secret. Why? Raven, I'm meeting you here in your alcove. I wanted to surprise you. Oh, Devin, that's okay. Yeah, Devin. You don't need fancy moves to impress me. Be yourself. It's all about keeping it real. Oh, I think she won over Devin. Look at Devin's face. Mm-hmm. Need to create some sweet outfits for my fashion show. Here we go, it's fashion rehearsal time. Okay, so uh Alright, let's let's uh, use all the outfits we created over the course of the last two levels. Such as pants. And also T-shirt! Oh t-shirt, here we go. This is fancy. Now what head do we want? I think she should have different heads, a la Dynamite Heady. I think that would improve the game. <laughs> yeah, she only has one head right now, but it looks like you have three tops. So you can use that, the blue top, or the go. judges think. Awesome! awesome. Uh, level complete. Good. Alright, Danny. So, uh, oh, hold on. Let's see a little bit more of the story here. I am glad everything worked out. Nothing like shopping. Oh, this is just real life. <laughs> it's just a bunch of chores you have to do. Mm -hmm. you gotta block the door, then you gotta buy some tickets. So are you at the mall now? Looks like it. Hey, I just want to say this mall's all. 
Where are they going? <laughs> what if I get trampled? Don't! Danny! Oh, yeah, it's just It's just like damage. it would always <laughs> I like that, though. That, that's using the environment to its advantage. Mm hmm mm hmm Ah, uh, this shit sucks. Can we play something yeah, else? Yeah, I think it's, honestly, it's about time, so yeah. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for first nominating this and also for voting for it. We had to play it eventually, and eventually is now. That's so Raven 2 for GBA. Consider it. Consider it, won't you? Next up, let's play a different game. What's next up on our list? All right, next up is Go... Go Beckham. Ooh, I gotta switch to the European folder for this. Ooh, this is a game that did not come out in North America. You had to import it if you wanted to experience David Beckham in a platformer for GBA. No shit, this really happened. Remember David Beckham? Mm-hmm. I don't. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks. Woof. Wow. It's it's only it's gotta be up from here. It's all it's all uphill. Denki, okay. Okay. Oh, I would love a treasure developed Disney Channel game. That would be amazing, but check this out. He's a chibi. He's adorable. Chibi David Beckham in Go Go Beckham Adventure on Soccer Island. Alright, Soccer Island is Mickey! A little different here, Mickey Mouse. All right, he's my guide, he's my mentor, he's gonna help me. Yeah, not enough chibi tattoos on Chibi Beckham. I guess that wouldn't fit the aesthetic. All right, time to go to the club trials. Yeah, it's David Beckham visits Yoshi's Island. All right, the many trials of Beckham. It's David Beckham's island now. What's Yoshi gonna do about it? Nothing, that's what. Can you bend it like Chibi Beckham? That would just be like bending it just a little bit. Oh, you're so little. You were the smallest sprite I've ever seen in my life. Mm, true, soccer is also called football. For you on the other, hey. other side of the pond. Look at that! Throwing mud in That's So Raven's face. See, in this game, you don't get hurt by falling. As it should be. We've established this. Fall damage is bad. Wouldn't it be so Football Island? That's a good point. Mm. Why is it called Soccer Island? Maybe because they wanted to release this in the States? That's all I can fucking think of. And yeah, from what I've seen, people tend to like this one. This does often appear on uh, hidden gems lists, believe it or not. <laughs> this one's pretty unique. It's kind of a puzzle platformer from what I've seen. With a little bitty David Beckham. Yeah, it reminds me of, like, Soccer Kid and those Marco games or whatever, but it's like... Ooh, I don't know then. It's a little bit more controllable, I find. Yeah, we have rated multiple games where you play a kid and his soccer ball, and all of them have been sub-bubsy <laughs> up until this point. Marco didn't like him. Soccer Kid liked him even less. Okay. But this? This is a bit better. I, I can... This one has a chance. We'll give it a chance. Yes, Chibis or Chibis, depending on what region you're from. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Subsy. <laughs> that's, that's a good abbreviation for Subbubsy. <laughs> I like a couple things about this. I like that I can change the camera focus to the ball. I like that the ball is actually so far not that hard to control, and yeah. Ooh, this is a lot more like Glover than Soccer Kid. That could be interesting then. The ball being something that you have to protect and actively go after. Where I was just, uh, it was an extension of your character in the other games. Nice. So what'd you think? Okay, I'll see, uh, I'll see a bit more and see how this game plays, yeah, yeah. You got a foul. Ah, well, then life's a foul. You should, uh, collapse on the ground and start screaming. Okay, but after this week, that's a big mood. <laughs> Relatable, David Beckham. David Beckham's Glover. I think that would have been more marketable if that's what they called it. No, what are you talking about? It looks exactly like David Beckham. You see? He's got the face. And the, uh, the hair. 
And the feet? He's kicking a soccer ball. Do I need to draw you a diagram? <laughs> Subsy and a bubsy. <laughs> I would love it if they made a Ronaldinho soccer hack of this. <laughs> it would be so simple, just replace the title screen, that's all you gotta do. Okay, let's try this again. No, I ain't drawing shit, that's too much work. I'm letting Alex play the games, I'm just sitting back and... seeing people's reactions to David Beckham in tiny form. It should have been Mega Man Soccer Advance. You know, Mega Man Soccer, I think didn't people didn't give it a chance. Mega Man was just trying to share his passion with the rest of the world, and you all spit on him. There has been another Mega Man Soccer ever since. We should have left the Mega Man alone. And what did he do after that? He burned out, just like I thought he would. Shame, folks. Anyway, <laughs> Mega Man Soccer 2 coming out next year. Man, look at how high I can jump now. I can go real far. Uh, I'm not allowed on Smite's Arcade Pit because it would be unfair. <laughs> Alright, let's break some bricks, let's break some shit. <laughs> I've thought about that, actually. Like, I've thought about applying to be on uh, Cuso Grande, but I hear that you have to re-roll if uh, you get a game that you've already played. I've played every game. That would not that would be a big strain on the organizers. <laughs> Just better to have people who get these games as a surprise. I'm the kind of freak who goes down the ROM list and I'm like, what's this? And then I play it. Okay, but that's the kind of freak I am, too. Yeah, neither oh. of us are fit for Cuso Grande. No, I think that's why we're married, too. <laughs> Alright, next round is That's So Raven 2. Oh, no, I gotta drop out, sorry. <laughs> I'm too experienced. Alright, I think after this I'll uh, hand over the controller to y'all. Okay. <laughs> Feltemp says that uh, that's actually a common thing. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah, people into bad video games, they tend to play a lot of bad video games. Who among us is not that kind of freak? Okay, good. Welcome to the freak zone. A magic sponge! Cool! Uh, if my health goes away, I get a magic sponge. Hey, alright! That's the worst thing I've ever heard. Pick up fruit and vegetables to stay healthy. <laughs> That's just good advice. David Beckham and the Magic Sponge. Oh, you leveled up! Mm hmm. Okay. Now that's the kick of a champion. How do I get a dangerous ball? Yeah, it turns out the sponge is just Spongebob, and then you start playing a different GBA platformer. Cool, I can go to the goal now. Frappe, that's what I was thinking, and I'm glad someone said it. Mm. David Beckham is sponge-worthy. Oh my god. I'm gonna explore a little bit more before I hand this over. Yeah, get maximum score. Get... Oh god, my ball, my ball, my ball, my ball, go, come back, come back! this. Cool, I found a spell. I have better ball control with my head now. A, a spell? Yeah. <laughs> He's a wizard? Oh. Yeah, yeah, bounce it on your head. Do it. Do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fun. That's a fun little detail. That is oh. cool. You know what? I think I might kind of like this. I'll have to wait until I get my hands on it, but this looks... Okay. This looks very pleasant. It does. Let me just get this up here. Oops. Soccer kid is just David Beckham before he turned pro. Man, he sure was ugly as a kid. Cool. Alright, let's get, let's get out of here. <laughs> Too good for the license? David Beckham himself developed this. He would not let this be a bad game. He learned how to program GBA games. And look, sure, he illegally downloaded Nintendo's SDK, but in the end, I think it paid off. You know, I agree. There we go. 
Good job. Let me play. Okay, okay. This Danny gets to play the fun Let game. Let me play the good game. Okay, okay. Okay, now we gotta sneak around and lock the door and push, no. the, push the books in front of the other door. Yeah, you have to you have to trap all the other soccer players on the field. I am so very proud of you. Welcome to the club. Uh, yes, video game king. You can actually adjust the camera to follow either you or to follow the... Uh, the ball, I mentioned it earlier, um, I think you, you select it by pressing select, I think? Let's go on an adventure. <laughs> you were the chosen one, brought to Soccer Island to save us from our despair. Hey, that's a little bit of a responsibility to put on me, buddy. Mr. Woe. You know, I thought David Beckham was just out here having fun in the wilderness, but no, we have a plot now. Okay. This <laughs> League of Monsters is running wild. Now there's treasures and monsters and kidnapping? There's monster managers? Do we have to beat them in a game of soccer manager? I guess. Okay, let's see. So, the reason this game might be so good is because it was worked on by some veteran designers. According to Electric Boogaloo Funk, Denki is a company formed out of XDMA design developers, including uh, David Jones and Colin Alex Anderson. David Jones, you may remember from GTA and Lemmings. Yeah, yeah, DMA is the, the Lemmings and GTA people. Yeah. So they had people working on this who gave a shit, inexplicably given the license. Oh, this is so snappy. Uh, thank you so very much to uh, the Ultimo for the 26 month reset. The Ultimo says Beckham to go. Hold up. Hold up. I gotta what? read that again. And also thank you. Let's ignore that and move on. That's what I thought it said. <sighs> Happy Friday, everybody. Please stop saying that phrase always. <laughs> Crazy for balls and nothing else. Good lord. Yes! Okay. Oh, it's so easy to get control of the ball and it doesn't get away from you. It just kind of magnetically attracts to old Becky. Yeah, that's calling. actually what I really like about it, is the ball can go away, but it, once you get near it, it's automatically like, boom, you get it. Yeah, yeah, you hit select to follow the ball as well. Okay. This seems like this team played Soccer Kid and were horribly disappointed, and they set out <laughs> to fix it. And you know what? I can appreciate that. Because so many people have tried to make soccer ball-based platformers, and they've all failed. They until have. Now. So this is like the first good... Who is that? Who is this little turd? Get away from me. Oh, it's. Uh, I think that's the thing. With the, whatever. I'm not going to say that. Oh, it's crazy like for... It. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that at all. You can lose stuff by fouling. <laughs> Better not foul these creatures. Yellow card at most. Red card, you're out of the <laughs> level. Oh, that's, that's satisfying. Yeah, isn't it? Makes a little noise and everything. Like, I... This is like... Oh, no. Hmm, distinctive crumbly blocks. Oh, there's a lock there I think you could unlock. I oh, think. did I miss it? Yeah. yeah. One to go. Cool. Hey. So kind of an open-ended, exploration-based puzzle platformer, I might call this. What were you going to say? This game looks fun, is what I was going to say. I think, oh, that was so cool, Danny! I, you know what? I'm horrified to say it, but I think this might be a fun game. I am having fun, and honestly, that shocks me. <laughs> I'm playing a game where I control a kid and a soccer ball. Well, an adult and a soccer ball. Maybe that's the difference. Maybe. You needed to play a man's game, I guess. Yeah, that's what it is. Soccer kid. Give me soccer adult any day. Oh, look at that. That's what they should have called this. Soccer adult. The uh, non-licensed non US version. Soccer adult. Oh, you almost got the full flag! I missed one of the Rainbow Islands gyms. God dang it. SMH. I left out blue. Appearances? Appearances is a stat? Okay, so this is interesting. Denki actually made games for uh, set-top boxes in the UK. I don't remember if you remember when cable boxes had games inside of them for a very short while. 
but um, they made a couple of Pat Sajak games for Sky UK and DirecTV top boxes. Pat Sajak big in the UK? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> that, that seems, that raises a question there. Do you get American Wheel of Fortune? Because that's all you would ever know Pat Sajak from. Okay. Also gotta say, a lot of tutorializing in this game, but they limit it to two or three text boxes at a time. They don't waste your time. Ow! Give it back! He stole your soccer ball! That was cute as shit! I'm sorry! Get that gem. Yeah! The game is pretty cute. I think it has a nice distinct aesthetic to it. And it doesn't try too hard. Yeah, did anybody preserve those cable box games? That's... Would it be possible? That's the thing, I don't know. How I do you dump a set-top box? Did you, did you ever, like, I remember, god, I remember those appearing, like, way, I first got, saw access to those in, like, 2002, 2000, like, when my, when my, my parents got, like, a, a new box right before I moved to Texas, and I was like, oh, it's got games on it, and I'm like, oh, those games suck. <laughs> yeah. It's just Casino and Solitaire. The original mobile games. Okay, Pass Ajax basically doesn't exist in the UK. So that, that's that's what I know. thought, but all right, well, just trust us, guys. Pat Ajax famous. You like him. All right, thank you so very much to Cantrip Seven for the two-month resub. Cantrip Seven says, "Ever check out the Gregory Horror Show cartoon? It was on YouTube last I checked. Good stuff. I actually haven't seen it. I ought to see that. It did look pretty interesting. I heard it was all in first person. Which what the fuck? Who does that?" That seems interesting for an idea for a, a cartoon, but I don't have to see it. I like that you don't have fall damage. I like that a lot. That's I like so that good. a lot, a lot. Listen up, Raven, if you ever make another platformer. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. The, tu the tutorial text has editing. God help me. Someone edited this tutorial text to make it short. Yeah, right? Like... And guess what? When it's short... You actually pay attention and absorb what it's saying. Nice! Good job, Danny! Imagine. Listen, we all want that so Raven is, is produced by Raven Software, but unfortunately we, get, <laughs> we take what we can get in this in this uh, world of ours. I probably missed some shit, but whatever. It's fine. This is fun! I really like this. It's inventive, it uses the premise well. It's not annoying like all the other soccer ball-based games are. Mm -hmm. I think we might have something here. David Beckham is ready to take on Bubsy. Do you think he could fight off a bobcat? You know, I think he could fight off. I think he could fight off Bubsy. <laughs> Bubsy is not your average bobcat, yeah. I, but I don't know if he could fight off an actual bob. I think it depends on the bobcat. Although we may have a that one episode of Twenty Four situation where the bobcat <laughs> just wanders off or whatever. <laughs> so good. Sorry, that's all I can fucking remember. There's only a handful of moments in 24 that are really good, but it's worth watching the entire show for it. You'll never forget it. Oh! Oh, I want to tell you, so I know we were talking about fan wikis the other day, and fan and wikis. I found yeah. a theme park fan and wiki, which, that's fine. You can make up your own theme park rides and theme parks, etc. The thing that I found on this one that fucking floored me yeah. was... <laughs> One of the rides, it was going to be in, like, I think it was Universal Studios uh, Malaysia or some, some some fan park zone made up. There's a 24 ride <laughs> <laughs> with Jack Bauer. Cool. And, like, it's like a motion sim ride. And they, they wrote out the entire plot of you being in this theater and it's shaking. And then Jack comes up and there's, like, motion vehicles. And I'm just like... And he asks you, where's the bomb? And the worst part was that it wasn't finished. It wasn't complete. And if you check the comments, you can see... You can see the author of the page say, I got this started. The rest is up to you. <laughs> Leaving Wiki. someone else to finish it. Yeah, and, it, and that was all in like 2017. So like, no one picked it up. No one wanted to continue the story of uh, Jack Bauer's theme park ride. And I think that's a fucking... I just want to know. I'm is not... that a common thing? Do people write fan fiction like a couple chapters and then they're like, why don't you do the rest of it? <laughs> I usually don't see that on fan wikis. No, that usually isn't that common. Okay, no, I'm sorry, Chad. Do you mind if I look this up and check? I, I just, <laughs> I need to, I need to read this while you're doing this. Yeah. Twenty-four theme park fan and wiki. 
No, no. Oh, he can actually jump higher when he doesn't have the ball, so that you need to separate yourself <laughs> from the ball sometimes. Could be an interesting little wrinkle here. Unfortunately, the 24 official game for PS2 is not a platformer. Oh, I know, man. I reviewed it. Okay, now I'm looking up Jack Bauer theme park wiki. You must tell me this. No, I don't want to know anything about the... Okay, this is gonna be... Alright, I take this back. There apparently was, in 2007, a 24-themed interactive game that was in uh, Sega's Tokyo Toyopolis. <laughs> what? It was a Sega... <laughs> I, I only mention that because that's the same place that has the uh, the the roller coaster that's also a uh, rhythm game. Wow. Oh, I got all the gems this time. All the colors of the rainbow. I, you know what? I don't know what to think about anything anymore. I want to play one more level. Okay. I like this. This is a good game. If I had this on GBA, I would play this all the time. Instead, all okay. I had was Sonic the Hedgehog Genesis. Okay, uh, let's see. Kiro says that this is one of the last games by Rage Software who apparently pretty much ruined themselves with the David Beckham license, which cost a lot of money oh. for a rather small publisher, and then the Beckham games in its cell, and then they just. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well, wait, a... they had the license for multiple games, so it wasn't expressly this game's fault. Yeah. I think they made some real shit bas uh, soccer sims. <laughs> Basketball, that's what he plays. Mm hmm. He loves basketball. Mm hmm I just... Okay, I'm checking one more time for this. I gotta... No, no, no. Come on. Come on. You can't make me seem... I mean, I know I'm... Listen, I'm a little crazy, but you can't make me seem that crazy. You gotta... Throw me a phone. Maybe you just had a dream about it. Shit, maybe. Here it is! It's in a Disneyland park! 24 Underground Escape! 24 <laughs> Underground Escape! Okay, I'm sorry, I was wrong. It's not Malaysia. 24 Underground Escape is a high-speed dark ride located at Universal Studios, Georgia. Which, God, I wish that let you fouled. Oh, I got fouled. Damn. They refer to killing enemies as removing them from play. I, I kind of find that charming. They so, integrate stuff like fouls. So here's what I can tell you about 24 Underground Escape. The queue begins as you walk through the midnight city set in 2 a.m. to 3.15 a.m. They can see many dark rain in the black night sky. 3D holographic models of people walking, even life-sized buildings from the show itself. This is impossible. Yeah. As the maze-like hue goes on, the lights go off in eternal darkness as they turn on. The guests are seen in, a, in the loading of a semi-truck as Jack Bauer appears. Did it say eternal darkness? Yes. <laughs> Before he speaks, and then it ends. Nothing else. No ride, no mechanics, no background info. And the author of the... Uh, Thing, what they actually say is, your turn, editors! <laughs> Unbelievable. I just want to say that ride is, I, 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 that ride's been implausible. But, if you want to go to a Universal Studios Georgia, which... It's a real thing now, that dude's dream came true. Oh, I love all these things. <gasps> San Antonio Disneyland? Hold on. Wait a minute, you can't do San Antonio like that. Okay. Unless this dude actually lives in San Antonio, then he's, he's, uh, that's his choice. Okay, oh, it has all the same rides, except it has one new ride, a Intamin Suspended Catapult co Coaster, and, uh, multiple, multiple, this is a great park, I gotta say. It's, <laughs> it's got not like, real. I know, I wish it was. <laughs> it's got, like, all the good rides, and it's got an entire frozen area. Oh, here are the attractions that, that got lost. Oh, I see, they shut down some of They shut down Mr. Wait, they shut down Mr. Toad's Wild Ride at San Antonio Disneyland? That's There's a list up. of former rides implying that in the canon, the rides used to exist, but they don't. Look, it's your fake theme park. You can make all the rides open if you want. Sorry to say, uh, San Antonio Disneyland has the least shops out of any single uh, theme park uh ever made. It has two. World of Disney and Spaceship Pizza. Two restaurants as well. Ratatouille and Cinderella's Kitchen. That's a shame! Spaceship Pizza a real thing? No, I've never fucking heard of it. It should be. Well, there you go. Good. There is not a TripAdvisor page for... No, hold on. Okay, there is a TripAdvisor page. Y'all are just encouraging Alex. 
That's okay. I need. I need. We a should be dedicating ourselves to our Lord and Savior, David Beckham. You're right. You're right. You're right. I don't need to think about a theme park that should exist but doesn't. What's your favorite Beckham moment? Um, did, did you like when he bent it? I. <laughs> His dick, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. That's what it's referring to, right? Okay, I... <laughs> yes, that is... <laughs> okay, good. No, <laughs> it's about the ability to fucking control your... the. You know how when you bowl a ball, you can control the way it kind of curves? Same thing with doing that with a uh, fucking soccer ball. Oh, it bending it, I see. Yeah, it's not like... It's not horny. It's not horny. So am I bending it every time I uh, shoot the ball in this game? You know what? Yeah. Good. Uh, everyone's banning you, that's good. Yeah, I deserve it, I'm sorry. That's fair. Sorry, David. Oh yeah, I forgot, Beckham's married to a Spice Girl, I gotta respect him. Which one? Yeah, I forgot which- hold on. Which one? That all depends on whether or not I respect him, which Spice Girl he married. Beckham Spice Girl, he is married to, uh... Posh Spice? Posh Spice, okay. I would have thought Sporty Spice, but alright. You would think... <laughs> you would think. You would think. That would have been a match made in heaven, but... Should have married Soccer Ball Spice. <laughs> that's, the, uh, that's the living Soccer Ball they briefly added to the, the Spice Girls at the end of their careers. <laughs> Not very oh, popular. Oh, I loved her. Let's see. Old Spice, Orb Spice, Wealthy Spice... No. Well, I'm no David Beckham, nah. but this game puts me in his shoes. Or should I say cleats? And I gotta appreciate it for that. Go, go Beckham for the GBA. Oh, that was a nice palate cleanser after the last game. Alright, I saw Vape Spice, Chucky Finster, Sniper Spice, Okay, Spice. It, is, it is time to move on. Next game, this is a game people have actually heard of. A first party release. What People voted for a Nintendo first party game in one of our polls? No, oh, they didn't. Unbelievable. It's Drill Dozer. Oh, just after Drake and Josh. We'll have to hold off for now. Damn. There you go. Oh, oh yeah, I forget. Get ready to drill it like Beckham. I will I will drill. Much like our Lord and Savior Becky. I hope you don't have left-right confusion, says Ides of Merch. Well, fun <laughs> news! That is one of my bigger issues, so this would be fun. Yeah, the Game Freak. The Pokemon people. Oh, shit. Game Freak also known to make games about uh, drilling, about uh, horse racing, and also solitaire at the same time. That solitaire horse racing game was real good. I put a lot of hours into it. That was Game Freak, right? Yeah. I I'm sorry. I really, really, really love the color palette, and I am I'm excited. That's a pretty good looking game. This is based off the Legend of the Killdozer, yes. Oh yeah, and don't forget about Tembo, the badass elephant. Yeah, yeah. So Game Freak is known to make platformers every so often. They're not exclusively Pokemon. Harmonite, man, <laughs> how did they find the time? They've made like 500,000 Pokemon, different creatures, and yet they also find time to make platformers. Okay, we're being warned that it's kind of slow to start, but the later levels are real good. I trust you on that. Pocket Card Jockey, that's what it's called, and yes, it should be on Switch. And <laughs> the main character is a goblin? Good. Alright, big fan of that. <laughs> yeah, they should find time to make, uh, to model every single Pokemon for their newest Pokemon game. And make a platformer about every single one of them. No, oh, get ready to skip a lot of text, apparently. That's right, Ken Sugimori's Twitter name is Super32X, the only fan of the Sega 32X. Wait, is that real? Yes. Holy shit. Dude loves the 32X. 
I love this. Listen to that baby purr. Gotta rev this up and haul ass to Lollapalooza. Hell yeah. Right, this also had a rumble pack on Game Boy. We're not gonna get that particular part of it, but that's something to note. <laughs> I don't think anyone loves the 32X more than he does, at least enough to name themselves after it. Man, man! What if Pokemon had never happened? Game Freak would just be nothing but quality platformers. Fuck you, Pikachu. Be nice! He's a, he's a little rat man. <laughs> man, Mendel Palace is good too. Fuck you, Wall. Hey, don't everybody say fuck you Pikachu at the same time. You'll get Nintendo's attention and then they'll shut us down. Yeah, let's not do that. Can I go down this way? Love you Pikachu. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, we love you Pikachu. Don't don't hurt us. Okay. Magical Tataruto kun Yep, yep. Oh, they could have made so many more. If only they hadn't had a massive success that probably helped the company a lot. Oh, I see. Yeah, you're drilling. Different drills hurt different things. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, you gotta look for the cracked walls. <laughs> you can't see this on the stream, but when it hit, uh, showed the prompt for the B button, Alex looked down at his controller, which is a PlayStation layout. <laughs> Listen. I sure did. I enjoyed that. I'm glad you noticed now because I've been doing it all straight. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you real quick about the self repairing barrier. Oh, there's nothing going to be quick about this. Don't you lie to me. That's true, they may not exist without Pokemon. That is a sad alternate universe where Game Freak shut down. I completely forgot about Little Town Hero. Wow. That came out, right? I... Cool. I... Did it? Oh, did. Okay. It's requested we play at least to the third gear. We'll see gotcha. what we can do. Yeah, we gotta rank Yoshi's Topsy-Turvy sometime, so I need to get an actual physical card of that and play it on a GameCube. That's one of them twisting games, a la WarioWare Twisted. Ooh, are just right time, huh? Now! Okay. Well, I finally have to learn how to use Shift. Okay. Oh, you're used to automatic. You can't drive stick. Mm-hmm. See around, bad idea. Have a good sleep. Nice, okay. Oh yeah, night, bad idea. Okay, like, don't worry if you're not great, you'll just get better. Yeah, put it in first, then hit the clutch whenever you uh, decide to shift. Don't flood the engine. That's something people say, right? There we go. Yeah, fuck that barrier. No more barriers. The title is a little, uh, Stroke Limit-esque, yeah. Hell yeah, here we go. There's something I want to add, but I won't. This is a polite show. Thank you for being- thank you, Danny. I was gonna say thank you for being normal, but you're always normal. More like Dildozer. It's fine, don't worry about it. Oh, do I got a drill? Is it really called Screw Breaker in Japan? <laughs> that doesn't sound right. I'm just being banned for telling the truth, as usual. How's the combat? It's fine. 
it's it's like it's okay. I, I don't like as much as drones or stuff, but why? There we go. <laughs> Screwbreaker Goshin Drillero. Wow, that's a name. This got a fair amount of pushback in the day, from what I remember, at least in terms of advertising. Yeah, I remember this uh, being very highly advertised. Not so sure if this was a success. I know people played it and liked it. Nowadays it's pretty well regarded, right? Like, people bring this up when they mention good GBA games. Oh, I like that background detail. Look at all the laundry. Yes. Is there a beat? Okay. It wasn't a success? Yeah. I just, I got that feeling somehow. Like, the people who played it loved it, but it didn't quite get that mass market that Pokemon did. We have mean... toilets. Oh, you can drill the toilets! Yes! I don't want to drill that toilet. <laughs> that, that toilet can stay. He's your friend. A cult game. That's a good way of thinking of it. Yeah, that's how I saw the response. It was kind of like some folks just were real fucking into it, and everyone else was just like... Oh, no, I would not want to play this in the Game Boy Player. Yeah, because with the GameCube controller, it's got those weird triggers that actively fight you when trying to push him back down. Suck it. Okay. Yeah, this was a late-era GBA game. I forgot about that. This does look like the kind of thing that they could only make after several years of the system being on the market. Okay. Seems yeah, like you've you come to grip with the controls. Yeah. Intuitive, you think? Mm, no. Yeah. Aren't many GBA games that put so much use on the trigger buttons? Oh yeah, DS was 2004, so this was, uh, yeah, 2006. Yikes. That's a shame. Get out of here. People were too busy playing Super Mario 64 DS. And not playing, uh, Drill Dozer. And Yoshi's Touch and Go. Honey, no one was playing Yoshi's Touch and Go. Well, there was like two DS games out at that time. You had to play Mario 64 or Yoshi, or that was it. Yeah, they were playing Sprung and Field of Magic XX Wi-Fi. <laughs> Field of Magic was pretty good, at least. <laughs> Why did I sell my copy of Sprung? That game was great. Okay, I cannot go that way in this. Okay, I need a third gear, so let's look at that. Crash, boom, bang, polarium, wow, it's... Oh my god, polarium! Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is... See black. what I mean back when we were playing Raven, that how, that how the, uh, the 2000s is just an era that's stopped existing? It was all like, yeah, the 90s were like five years ago, right? Yeah. Well, I'm here, but I don't... Project Rub. <laughs> <laughs> Chasmosis, thank you for the four months. They say, can we not talk about Mario 64 DS? No. But thank you. Oh my god. I you get to play it. as Yoshi in it, come on! Yeah, I, uh, I actually had that, and... <laughs> Dig up, stupid. <laughs> You're not being called stupid, it's a quote. No, 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 I know. I know. Okay. I'm... Okay. If uh, anyone can give me chat. any hot tips here, I would really appreciate it. What's Alex got to do here? I how do you how do you dig upwards? Canvas curse. Oh, so good. Try drilling. Try screwing. <laughs> Bounce on the bullets. On the bullets, huh? Okay, let me try that. Hot tip is I didn't like the game. Oh, this game 
This game has haters. That's All good. Right. We need to balance out the, uh, the list. Can I go... Okay, so bouncing off the bullets is what I saw. Okay. Uh... Or maybe just bouncing off that guy. No. No, you just get damaged. Okay, I saw the Jess and I go down, so I'm gonna try that. <laughs> fair, fair. I'm, I'm also a not care about a lot of things. Okay, I'm, I'm seeing someone saying, no, do this, but I can't see because the chat's going by too fast. What are they saying, Danny? <laughs> I see. Help. Drill them. No. <laughs> I saw it go down to the lower right, so I'm trying that. It's got to be uniquely frustrating trying to guide a streamer at a game they're not experienced with. Oh, I have been okay. Yeah, you could be playing Sonic Rush or Star Wars Episode Three. Is that a platformer? Oh God, I hope not. I don't want to play it, Danny. I'm sorry. Drill down like Scrooge's cane. Can you jump on your drill? Um, I'll find out. Play. Okay, episode three is a beat em up. We're safe. Oh, thank God. But there's a lot of Star Wars games we still have to play. Oh, true. DS and DS Lite did have the GBA slot, so you could play this. If you got one of them newfangled DS's. Turns out I didn't need to go that way, I needed to go the way I went. Okay. I needed to actually go down and, and, and right, not stay in that room. You so, figured it out. Yeah. Thank you uh, to, I think, Video Game King for just me. Thank you. Okay. Can I play? Let me do this. Okay. Third freaking gear, baby. Nothing can stop you now. Yeah, drill that shit. Here you go. Thank you. Enjoy. Okay, how to play. I know you use the uh, L and R buttons, right? And then you... Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's neat. Hell yeah. Go, Danny. Go. Alright, thank you so very much to Akadar for the uh, 16th month of reset. Thank you so much. Akadar says, third gear power. Yeah, it's fucking good. Yeah, yeah. And thank you. Do you just keep going when you're in third gear? Yeah. Okay. You just go forever. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like this. Drill down. Go. Go. A lot of shifting in this game. That's kind of an unusual mechanic. You know, I agree, Blab. This does kind of feel like uh, Game Freak trying to fight treasure style. Ooh, I could see that. Yeah, this has that kind of chaotic feel that a lot <laughs> of treasure games have. I was drilling nothing. You're good. It's just, it's so easy to get caught up in drilling because you're looking at the UI element instead of the actual level layout. Yeah. I guess that's a way to do it. Would it have been better if they just had a regular meter? Who knows? This might have worked better on the GBA screen. Alright. Get their ass. Does it matter which direction you drill, like with L or R? Yes, L is better towards metal, I notice. Really? Yeah, I don't, it's weird. I uh, Maybe that's... Yeah, if one thing won't drill, try the other gear. Okay. Or maybe that won't drill. Nope, this is undrillable. Okay. Cannot be drilled. This game will be better. Okay, I'm seeing Alex No, I what what am I being corrected on here, folks? <laughs> I could not I what'd don't you, what'd you do, Alex? I don't know. I don't know. I just see Alex No and Alex please. I don't see any actual uh, corrective, I'm sorry. Alex please. You can bounce, look at that. That's oh, funny. they're not relevant now? Okay. But they are gonna be relevant later. Okie dokie. I think I just went back through that door you were trying to uh, to explore. This music's pretty good. It is, yeah. Okay, apparently there's tunnels later there where it becomes relevant. Ah. I could have sworn that one ball wouldn't go through with my left gear, but it would go through with my right gear and vice versa, but I guess I was psychosomatic. Mm. I busted down the door. Good job. Eat shit door. <laughs>
guess it's similar to the other Game Freak platformers in that they have a pretty unusual central mechanic that they just lean on for the entire game. Like, uh, Pulse Man's Volt Tackle and other things. Oh my god, you need to use L and R for screws that need to be turned a very specific way. Oh, oh boy, that's okay. Gonna be fun. Like this. The whole jump and drill. Yeah, that's fucking good. I wonder if you can do multiple. No, you can't. But you can do this. There, you're at the exit. How do I get up there? Mm, can you push that? Let's see. <laughs> what does this do? Oh, it lets you look around. Oh, okay, okay. Other way, go the other way. Alright. Thank you for your guidance. And the other way, it's apparently a boss, so prep yourself. Okay, boss time. Let's get ready to drill. We're gonna do it. Thank you again. Thank you for your patience, Ixname. I can only imagine how frustrating it is to try to guide <laughs> two fucking guys around like this. The solution's drilling? No. Drill the fuck out of this guy. Hey, you're gonna get drilled. Get his ass. I tend to be a fan of drilling games. Mr. Driller, uh, SteamWorld Dig, real good. You're a big drill head? Mm-hmm. I just recently finished a 100% playthrough of SteamWorld Dig 2. I don't talk about new games that much because they're all bad, but that's one of the good ones. You should play it if you haven't. Gotcha. You did do it, Danny. <laughs> Thanks. All right, now the game's just shit-talking me. Didn't earlier in the stream I talk about needing to draw, draw, draw a diagram for something? Mm -hmm. Now it's directly throwing my words back in my face. I see what you're doing, Game Freak. Uh... Other way? Uh, let's do this way. Oh, there it is. Good. Gotta keep holding in third gear. Mm -hmm. Go, 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 go! He drilled it. Nice. There you go. I don't like its mouth, I'm sorry. It looks a little inappropriate. I don't like the way it, it grabs that, it's really gross. That should be enough. The character has a real heavy feel in this game. It really feels like you're controlling a giant drilling machine. Yeah. That and I noticed this game isn't 60 FPS. It's uh, I've noticed this ori on original hardware as well. It doesn't quite hit full speed. Maybe it's very hardware intensive. Okay, important to note that the game does take a few stages to speed up, but it does get a little bit faster paced later on. So we should okay. probably not include the slow pace, bleh, 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 the slow pace in our uh, judgment section. I'd believe that. That's and fine. anyway, this this didn't fare too badly, I don't think. I've seen games with much slower introductions. It's did a good job of easing you in. If anything, there could stand to be a little bit less text, but it's nothing super egregious. Oh yeah, and a lot of talk chats have mentioned how vibration friendly, like, this game fucking shook when you would drill. Mm. Apparently. Because it had, like, a rumble in the cart or whatever. Yeah. I played Pokemon Pinball, I know what a rumble cart is. Okay, okay. Pokemon Pinball is a really good platformer. I probably can't talk people into putting uh, Pokemon Pinball on this list. Yeah. They roughed up her dad! Not Doug! Diggin' Doug is what they called him. She's the boss now. Nice. I think I might like this. This is an okay game. Unique premise, pretty satisfying to drill stuff. 
briefly check out the next area before we move on. Because we have a much better game to move on with. We just now got the ability to go to Area 1. Hey, you gotta, you gotta try Natalie's. I want to see how it is. Yeah. Also, her name is uh, Jill, and people are like, Jill Joser. <laughs> Gotta upgrade the drill. All right. Get that drill upgraded, baby. Don't shoot. I've got, I've got the kill dozer. Don't fuck with me. Oh, I wish kill dozer was real. <laughs> well, I mean, still around. Yeah, drills have rights. So they also have lefts too. And yes, Jill does, I, I agree, Jill has extreme goblin energy, and I quite honestly am here for it. We love goblins here at Retro Pals. I've noticed that we're very goblin-centric lately, and Dude. I wonder if it's because our brains are fucking dissipating. <laughs> Mine is, I don't know about y'all. You really start to appreciate goblins, the more your brain goes. Maybe I need like a vacation, and then I'll be like more normal, I don't know. Maybe. So I guess it puts you down to first gear after every level? Because I'm not able to shift up. Okay, I think it does. So each level is its own Metroidvania. You can't drill the jelly blocks! Whoa. Okay. First, while well, it's drilling to jump back. Okay. I see, yep. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Gear, gear, gear! Give me that gear. Surpass Metal Gear, baby! <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, you didn't grab the gear. Didn't I? No. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, they explained in the last scene, but apparently your gears wear down after each level, so you have to get new ones. I see. That is a pretty clever conceit, I guess. Or rather, a conceit. Alright, so the core mechanic figures directly into the platforming. That's what we like to see here on Mascot Friday. If you're gonna do something weird, make it figure into the platforming. That's our rule. Did you know? That is our rule. I actually did not know that, though. But now I know. You know what they say. Knowing kicks ass. Yeah. I agree! Give Vanilla Essence a drill! I need that, that horrible <laughs> goblin child to... I would not trust her with a drill. You're no fun! Well, you go ahead and give her a drill and see what happens. Can you drill into that guy up there? Oh, shoot. Let's, let's see. Yep, sure enough. Nice, that works. Alright, get these, get these assholes. I think I'm gonna beat this guy and then we're gonna move on. Sounds good, we're kinda of running a little low on time, but we should have enough time for Because tonight's final game is a real showstopper. It's the one game everyone's been waiting for. Oh, I'm excited, God. Mm -hmm. Yep. A real true classic of game. They're real generous with the health in this game, have you noticed? I like mm -hmm. that. You got an unconventional mechanic, you gotta give people some time to come with to grips with it yeah i like that and i actually feel like that that's one thing i will say usually games with unusual mechanics just i just bounce right off of them i fucking mm -hmm. hate it but i was actually able to get into this and figure it out as best as i could and i was having a good time aside from like getting stuck here and there you know that which was on more on me than anything else yeah yeah so good impressions we'll have to see how it shakes out in the big master list but i think drill dozer might have a good chance among this audience here Drill Dozer for Game Boy Advance. Maybe play it. Maybe. But make sure you play it after tonight's final game, because this is the one everyone's been waiting for. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm so this excited. What are we playing? We are playing the Game Boy Advance adaptation of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, hell yes! The Tim Burton one. Fantastic! Mwah! I am so excited. So every level is about how much you hate your dad. Hey! We all process our trauma differently. Some of us make blockbuster movies, other people go to therapy. I appreciate it. Hey, Charlie, let's go to the Arctic to meet the dad that I hate. <laughs> that 
that happened in that movie, right? Hey, this, yeah, yeah, it did. <laughs> Maybe I should play in another language. Why is this game? I wish I could answer that. But I guess I could just say that at the time, if you had a license, you were going to make a GBA game based on it. Ah! I'm sorry, this art style. <laughs> hard chocolate. What's hard chocolate? Is smooth chocolate like the easiest? What's, yeah, I what's easier, smooth easy. or plain? How about milk chocolate? I would understand that if it was milk what and, is uh... Hard chocolate? It should be milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and, uh, bitter uh. chocolate. <laughs> uh... Uh... Damn, I'm putting your name here. I'm blaming this on you. This movie was the height of the Burton slash Depp honeymoon. Yeah, Johnny yes. Depp was in this. The For a time, if you had to watch a movie, first of all, it had a GBA platformer based on it. And it probably had Tim Burton working with Johnny Depp. <laughs> <laughs> this kid fucking sucked. Look, his grandparents all lived in the same bed. What do you think that does to a kid? Fair. <laughs> oh man, finding a golden ticket would be great. This music is bad. Stand on Vince for an uplifting experience. It's fine. Give me this money! I don't see what's ass about this. This looks good. And besides, there is also a PS2 and possibly Nintendo Wii Charlie and the Chocolate Factory platformer. So we're gonna cover the 2D and 3D sides of this movie. Gimme. Give me the give me give me ten dollars. The elf game, but with a less ugly art style. That's debatable. It is kind of similar though. That's what right. What is up with this fucking dollars? It's killing me. Okay, the three D one was just before the uh, the Wii, so it'll be PS two, GameCube, Xbox. No, it's like the movie where the dollar keeps getting away from him. See, can't quite get that dollar. I have seen the console one, and yes, it is a nightmare, for sure. Hey, poor kid, bet you'd really like this money, huh? Nope. Keep trying. Nope, nope, you can't- oh, there you go. Wow, that was easy. He's gonna buy ten dollars worth of chocolate. Alright, let's do it. Let's get ourselves some candy. He's gonna gorge himself on chocolate and throw, all, throw up all over Grandpa's bed. Got it. Hey, our Oompa, Oompa Loompa album. I do not like that beep it makes, but what can I say? Oh, oh we're I, already I, at the yeah, chocolate here factory. Here we go, we're that at the chocolate fast. factory. That was fast, yeah. History's about to be made. Mm -hmm. Alright, we've got Augustus Gloop. We got, I'm just gonna, it's Ruka Salt. Yeah, Charlie, don't use your $10 to subscribe to a forum. That's, that's a bad use of money. Wow, I've got one month of Netflix! Okay, Mike TV. Okay, I am glad that they introduce all the characters because this is the best part of the movie. These weird ass kids who get to go to the chocolate factory. There he is! Johnny Depp on the GBA with most of his colors intact. Welcome to the chocolate room. Jesus, you're already in the Augustus Gloop Look part at him! of the movie? You're just blazing through this thing. Goodbye. I don't want to be here. Okay, fall in the river. Look at him dance! That's a little weird, dude, but you do what you want to do. Well, I'm gonna walk around, because no, I'm a let's, big boy. No, let's talk more about your labor practices, uh, Wooly. <laughs> you sure these Oompa Loompas are here on their own, uh... Well, whatever. Okay, we... I remember. Okay, I remember part of the canon of, of this movie. <laughs> the I know. Grandpa Sprite. The canon of this movie is that the Oompa Loompas were deep in a like weird fucking war, and he like. That's right. Yeah, they did expand on that, didn't they? It was actually, kind of, and they're like, "Wow, thank you for saving us from war. We'll be your slaves forever now." And it was like, "That's weird." 
Don't step in the caramel, cho Charlie. I wonder Were if they CG? Man, it's been so long since I've seen this. Okay, I'm going to actually talk to these characters because I forgot I can talk. No, they won't. Can I talk to you? Okay, explore the room. Oh. I hate to say this, but I've played worse. Well, keep playing. Okay. How do I... Can I talk to them? Can I... Whatever. They can just dance. What Johnny Depp movie is more racist? This or The Lone Ranger? Hey! I refuse to discuss that. Oh, God. We'll leave, we'll leave Johnny Depp to discuss that. Yeah, Johnny Depp you can do without yourself. Okay. <laughs> Kid almost ate the golden ticket. Okay, don't go into a chocolate geyser. You will die. Got it. What is it you were collecting? Uh, cubes. Uh, candy cubes. Okay. Okay, Wonka Bar restores my health. Okay, so the Oompa Loompas and also Willy Wonka's ass are CGI in this movie. Don't you... How dare you bring up Mort Dekai? <laughs> Let it die. No one ever needs to think about Mort Dekai. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. It's been many years since I thought about that. Also Rango, yeah. Okay, I kind of liked Ringo. I didn't see Ringo. That's fine. But I haven't seen it in a long time, so... Try to avoid the sweet butter bees. Oh, the Oompa Loompas was just one real actor that they duplicated. How do we get down there? Several people confirming that Rango is good in a row. Alright, we gotta go see Rango. That's viscerally disgusting. I kind of like it. Okay. I forget, did this remake uh, include that scene where they go on the boat and take a lot of LSD? God, it has been so long. Danny, do you want to watch that movie? No. Okay, that's fair. Okay. Let's go this way. What are you saying, asshole? Oh, Razzleberries. Well, you can razzle Oh, that's, that's just in the 70s movie? What a shame. Use a giant gumball. Fucking. Every kid needs to experience an LSD boat trip. It's as relevant today as it ever was. I'm with this kid, sorry. I hope they remake this movie again and make it even more insufferable, being like, oh, I hate these influencer children or whatever. <laughs> they're all taking selfies. Yes, or they're all on like TikTok or something. Augustus falls in the river because he's too busy messing with his Snapchat filters. <laughs> Alright, Disney, you hear us? We, we can... The movie writes itself. Okay. <laughs> Willy Wonka and the Millennial Chocolate Factory. A bonus try. Wait, we're millennials. Yeah, sorry. I don't want to be killed in the chocolate factory. Eh, worst ways to die, I guess. Yeah, it would be the Gen Z factory, that's right. <laughs> Mike TV is a gamer. <laughs> that could have been something they included in the movie, his, his being a gamer, and I'd believe it. I'll say this, I'm not doing too bad. This looks... yeah, you're progressing pretty decently here. You're not getting caught up on things. Volcanoes are fine. It's their uh, lava that's dangerous. You know, that's just like science. Oh, they did make him a gamer in this movie! Okay, we gotta rewatch this. I wanna see what games he was into. I'm looking at the time. Um, I don't know how much longer this level's gonna be. Uh, oh, it's not poop, it's chocolate. Come it's on. Chocolate. Ah, super sponge cake. Oh god. I don't I don't like these Oompa Loompas just standing around just like, hey. That's a way to <laughs> Yeah, they just kinda guide you, I suppose. A way to look at Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is it being a survival horror game for kids. And that is true, they do meet horrible Good. fates uh, through their own oh, hubris. That's, that's, through their own... They, they all have to be taught lessons not to... It was basically a prototypical Final Destination. That's a... You know I'm right. Uh, what sucks is you are. Yeah, 
yeah. Willy Wonka's Battle Royale. Oh, I can push this probably. 100 kids enter. Yeah. Give them all chocolate. I don't like how that uh, wobbles. It looks it's, weird. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Stop. Oops. Collectively, we've invented a new character called Mike YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm here for this. Who will be escorted out of the factory following a heated gamer moment? <laughs> no, that's unrealistic because if, the, if it was realistic, he wouldn't suffer any ramifications whatsoever. He'd just be able to keep going through the factory shouting those words. Okay, I got a marshmallow pillow. Which... Ooh, Mike.tv is also good. Oh, that's really. What is. Oh, that's a licorice fine. No, thank you. Mike TikTok. All right, there you go. That's it. That's that. That's it. That's the thing. You're up to the moment references here in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I did the chocolate room. It's Danny's turn. Hey, good work. You wonk. Oh, I guess I didn't get the A. Yep. Close enough. Sorry. You did get all the candies though, and you unlocked a new item in your Oompa Loompa album. Oh, delightful. Wonk, 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 says chat. Yeah, I got wonked. Well, look what you did. Look what you did. <laughs> He's gonna die. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> oh no, we have to save his life. Give me 20 minutes here. <laughs> we have to eat speed so we can keep ahead of Augustus Gloop. Here we go. I'm sorry, I can't stop thinking about Mike TikTok. <laughs> that's good, yeah. That's really, that's... Mm. Grandpa was just there, we couldn't... You can talk to him by pressing B. I did. Did he have nothing to say? No. Alright. You press B and, and hold to move things. There you I go. I see. We gotta save our friend Augustus. He's gonna get sucked up into the pipe and become chocolate. Uh, people are asking if this is PS2 NARC. <laughs> Pretty much. Next, we're gonna find the weed brownies. Hey, you're doing good. You know what? This isn't terrible. <laughs> That's the problem, right? I this was... plays pretty well. Come it to does. Think of it. it controls good. It's crazy and based off of a terrible franchise, but. I was expecting nothing from this game, and. I'm pretty sure I've seen at least snippets of a Let's Play, and it looked pretty horrible, but. Mm -hmm. Actually playing it? Not the worst game. I was gonna say, watch out for that part. Those uh, those Shit. disintegrate because they're chocolate. Okay. And watch out for the bees. They're uh, they're yeah. electric. Well, they're they're made out of honey and something. And also watch out for those. Okay. Literally everything can kill you here, and a lot of it's eating you. It's fucked up. I don't like it. You know, I was wondering when something would eat us. Okay. You just have to go with slow pace at this part. You got you got look at look at Augustus Gloop. He's way now. Wait for that to discount before you jump. How about, how about this time I get up there and then I actually listen to you? What were you trying to tell me? Wait for it to disintegrate, and then wait again. Oh, it's a timing-based yes, thing. Okay. Yes, that's, that was, yeah. I get you. And then wait. And then wait again. That animation over there looked disgusting. It's all gloopy. Uh, unfortunately... <laughs> unfortunately, Jordan, you did miss... Uh, now watch out, you're low on health, so be careful. Now don't go that way! Okay, be careful, because I was... Yeah. Be very careful here. Can we never play that sound on stream ever again? Can you in, can you install a filter that makes that sound not play? Does anybody know the OBS compressor setting to get rid of that squelch? Ugh, the squelch? That's so, so unnecessary. Ugh. Well, the game has problems, but then again, no game's perfect. Hey. No, stop. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. The glorpiest game I've ever played. I'm doing better this time. I haven't lost all my health. Well, 
Do 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 you're doing good, Danny. Thank you. Just, All right. I'm just in a hurry to save my friend, who Charlie I love so and, much. Charlie in the Blombie Factory. Oh, this God. is a hell of Blombie game. It's Blombie and Glorpy. Be careful, because there's... I would love to be careful. That's but... fair. It's very hard to be careful in this <laughs> game. There you go. That's right. Good pace. You got some health there. Yeah. What are that, you? That is a licorice vine. Watch out for that. It can also kill you. <laughs> Just pretend that everything aside from the cubes can kill you. And that is a good way to play the game. I oh. guess that's accurate. The movie is pretty much, yeah, uh, it's a death trap yeah. for kids. Right. Oh, we gotta do this. Yeah. And then you gotta jump on top of it and then walk on it like a... Yeah, there you go. Whoa, whoa, this animation. <laughs> that animation is good. <laughs> Alright, this is Rayman. I can see that. It's Rayman-esque. I don't like how the speed power-ups, if you lose them before you're supposed to lose them, there he goes, then the jumps become impossible. Hold up. I don't think it was too late. Hold up, so the whole level is you're racing to try and get there, and then they just end up speeding it up and he gets sucked up anyway. It's fine. I'm not buying it. Awesome! They're gonna make him into marshmallows! He could never be made into marshmallow. This leads to the marshmallow room. Doesn't go anywhere near it. it. Leads to the fudge room. He'd be made into fudge. Wonderful! Are we done? Let's see what the next level is. The Wriggle Sweets Room. Okay. Great, 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 great. Sounds great. Sounds normal. It's where he makes all the Wriggle Sweets. Less dawdling, more rescuing, he says, not doing anything himself. Well, he's he's got his own father-related trauma he's processing. Oh, whatever. yeah. Charlie's here to help him fix it. Don't... You can't ask kids to fix you, you freak. Alright, so there's switch pulling, and from what I remember of watching other people play this, there does seem to be, be a big puzzle element to this game, which could slow down the pacing, resulting in a worse game. But I refuse to play even a single more second of this, so we'll just have to imagine what that's like. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, based on the Johnny Depp Tim Burton movie. For the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. Good. <laughs> Let's find a game with some good music. Oh, Catwoman. Oh, no. Oh, Charlotte's Web. We could have played all these games. Sorry, Danny. What's a GBA game with good music? But Ugly Martians? Oh, my God. Please. Please. Uh, I saw someone demanding Drake and Josh. I don't know if that has good music, though. Probably not. I'm gonna put on Boktai. Oh, Boktai has good music. Does it? I don't know. I assume it does. I'm assuming so, yeah. You, you have to go out in the damn sun to play it, though. You gonna go out in the damn sun? No. Good. Fuck the sun. How are you gonna play Boktai when you're not allowed to go anywhere? You can go out in your backyard, your front yard, your patio. Why didn't you think of that, Hideo Kojima? You think you're so brilliant. Alright, I'm gonna get to a part of this game with music, okay. and then we can start the judging process. Oh yeah, it's judgment time, baby. Get ready to judge. Put on your judging hat and shoes, because it is time to judge what you have just seen. Based on what you've seen tonight, out of all these games, do you think they're better or worse than Bubsy? Give us an RP Angel Bubsy or an RP Devil Bubsy, depending on your feelings on the subject. And don't forget, the sun is in your hand. My hand? No. Really? Shit. I gotta be more careful. This title's... Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> it's good enough. I play Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. I no longer care about anything. <laughs> so what did we play tonight? We played some good games, possibly some bad games. Mm -hmm. But most of all, we started off with a game that got the most votes. People voted for this. It was number one in the poll. That's So Raven 2 for Nintendo Game Boy Advance. Supernatural style is what it's called. Is That So Raven 2 better or worse than Bubsy? Devil, devil, equivalent, devil. 
regular, regular Bubsy, deviled, oh, a lot of devils there. <laughs> Is that what he's called now, regular Bubsy? Uh, yeah. Me, Unleaded me, Bubsy. Bubsy. Oh, that's a lot of devils. I just glanced over and I saw nothing but devils. This, uh, it's not looking good for that So Raven, despite having a popular show on the Disney Channel. Book type betrayed me by cutting to a different screen. I don't care. Yeah. That's So Raven 2, I don't think it's gonna fare too well. I think it is sub Bubsy. But how much worse than Bubsy is it? It that... seemed pretty putrid to me. <laughs> that, it was, okay, okay, I'm gonna throw in, I, I'm gonna, th I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in here. I don't think it was that bad. It was bad. To be sure, it wasn't great. Right. But we have played so much worse. This isn't a top bottom. This I don't is... think this is bottom 20. I don't no. think it's a hard head or a hard head 2. Let's, let's try but this. It was just a licensed game on GBA that didn't try very hard because it's got a license. Kids are going to buy it for that. Okay, but think of it this way. You got to fucking lock someone into a room by knocking down a water cooler. You got to consider that in this. That's true. The floor is impassable because it has water on it. Walk tie, I swear to God. Get to a screen with music. Did you know the sun is in your hand? Fuck. I see. Worse than Mr. Nuts. Okay, okay. I agree with that. I do think it's worse than Mr. Nuts. I do think it's worse than Super Waggy and Lamb too. And I think it's worse than Toki. But is it is it worse than Socks the Cat Rocks the Hill? Now it's talking! Feeling frustrated, sweetie pie? No! Okay. Please, we give me, need to give me, rank. We give me, give me rank. five seconds. You, you adjust, you, okay. you talk to the chat. Okay. I will look so to you. So it's worse than Socks. Socks is better. Um, It's worse than Osomatsu-kun. Okay. Okay, how about... Okay, I do think it's worse than Swat Cat, so I'll give it that. Is it worse... Here's another licensed game. Is it worse than The Mask? Mask was pretty bad. I actually got a lot of the same feelings playing the mask as I did That's So Raven. That kind of wandering, not really knowing what to do. I guess That's So Raven had a greater depth of stuff that you do in that game, for whatever that's worth. Okay, I see. It's not worse than Home Improvement. And I gotta say, I... I, I... Home Improvement was pretty bad. This was pretty bad, too, but it was navigatable. I was able to go through it, and I gotta throw pies at jocks. That was pretty fucking funny. There was that. Okay, so how about this? I do think it is better than Home Improvement, but I don't know if it's better than sk Skater Die, Bad and Rad. You want to put it between the two? Folks. Because I feel pretty good about that. Those other games up there, I think Osomatsu Kun's better. I think Werewolf the Last Warrior's better. I think everything above that is better than it, and everything below it, I can, yeah. <coughs> that works. It's about the same as that's good. Okay, that's Put so acceptable. In. That's all I needed to see. Thank that's you. That's so Raven 2 for GBA. Better than Home Improvement, not as good as Skate or Die Bad and Rad for the original Game Boy. She should have had a skateboard. That would have fixed it. Are we calling Game Boy Advance? I think we just call it GBA. Okay, I don't... Have we streamed any GB? I'll well, look up the lists. Okay, hold on. Let me find. Let me find. Let me find the elf. Okay, this is GB. Perfect. All right. Let me find Raven again. Published by Disney Interactive. Developed by <laughs> A2M. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Forgot all about that. <sighs> please never make me have to do that again. A2M, please don't make any more platformers. All right, platformers. Wow. Platformers. All right. Next up, Danny. Uh huh. Is go go Beckham? Folks. Boy, did he ever! He goed and he goed. Go go Beckham for the GBA. Is that better or worse than Bubsy? Adventure on Soccer Island, Top not Football Island. Soccer Island. Oh, look at all those angels! Bubsy is a precious angel. He would never do anything bad to us. Just like David Beckham, he is a force for good. Yeah, I think people like this one. Yeah, Go Go Beckham, it's, it had a real charm to it, which I didn't expect at all, considering we've ranked several platformers where you control a soccer ball and they were all bad. This was so good, though. Just something about the pacing, the level design. They nailed it. They really nailed the David Beckham aesthetic, for whatever that's worth. Okay, first thing I saw was around J.J. Squawkers. Where is that? Wow, that's pretty high up there. J.J. Squawkers is a pretty good game. I could see it being around 100th place. I'm not sure if it exactly meets top 100. 
Yeah, is it- do you think it's better than Sonic Rush? I- I don't think it's better than Sonic Rush, I'm sorry. Hard to say, honestly. And I don't think it's better than Jazz Jackrabbit either, but I do think it is better than Karnov, sorry. But, but- I'd I like to see that the... battle, David Beckham versus Karnov. <sighs> someone animate that. Fucking rip. Better than I came Karnoff. up with the idea, someone else make it. I'm like that guy in the- with the 24 theme park thing. Okay. You're gonna make your own? Yeah. Okay, so, um, above Ninja 5.0, I'm seeing. Okay. People are gonna hate me for saying this, but honestly, I had more fun with, uh, David Beckham than Ninja 5.0. For as well-regarded as that game is as a hidden gem, Go Go Beckham just had that certain something. And it was unique to that game, too. It didn't quite feel like any other platformer. Mm-hmm. At the same time... Oh, it's tough to rank this. I'm seeing uh, Perhaps. between Jazz and Keen, which I kind of agree. I like that area. And then I'm seeing, you know, above Ninja 5.0. Okay, how about between uh, Kendo Rage and Ninja 5.0? I'm okay with that. Are we okay with that? Can you live with that? Okay. Folks? David Beckham fan in the chat. Okay. Yeah, good. Sure. Okay, that's three in a row. That's all I need. Good, perfect. That's enough votes for me. Go, go, Beckham for the Game Boy Advance. Better than Ninja 5.0. Not as good as Kendo Rage. A shocking development. People uh, love Ninja 5.0, but they love David Beckham even more. Let's have him on the show. What's he doing? Soccer, I assume, or hanging out with his wife, Posh Spice. I'm sorry, no offense, but if I was... <laughs> I sorry, Retro you. Pals, I'd rather hang out with my wife, Posh Spice. I'm sorry, no offense to to, to, to us, but <laughs> if 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 you, I I would I would rather hang out with Posh Spice fair. and string. But that I don't fair. know her. Maybe maybe I don't wanna you know, maybe maybe I don't know. Maybe she sucks, but I don't know anything about her and I'm not gonna yeah, okay. Alright. They have kids? Cool. Alright, so after that, um after the the posh sp the wife guy the wife guy sorry for calling Beckham a how wife dare guy. you reduce him to that That's we'll true. discuss this later anyway the next game we played Drill Dozer from Game Freak the Pokemon's people is Drill Dozer better or worse than Bubsy which Pokemon could kick Bubsy's ass Angel 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 with all angels all angels it's a f it's you, you know I think Bubsy could kick Magikarp's ass maybe Kakuna. But the others, I'm pretty sure they would they would just murder Bubsy. All right, call Drill Dozer a rerun on PAX because it's touched by an angel. <laughs> Good. So sorry. That is a whole lot of angel Bubsies. People like Drill Dozer. That's kind of an underdog game because, as people mentioned, it came out after the DS was released. Not many people would have played it if it had been released as comparative uh, the GBA's heyday. But it's a quality game with a unique mechanic. I enjoyed my time with it. Here, let's start here. Is it better or worse than David Beckham? That is a good question. I I see better than Beckham. Um, but can I you agree. bend it like Beckham? I'm bending it. Better, better. Okay, that's actually kind of how I was feeling. I, I did like this more than the Beckham game as much as I liked it. I do think it's pretty close in terms of quality, but very slightly better. It uh, it's just it's got that weight to it. No, you know, it's you're drilling through stuff. Mm -hmm. Everyone loves to drill through stuff. Above Sonic Rush, you know, I may not disagree, but I haven't played enough of it to, to get it. To, to what say figure to whether or not it's better than uh, Sonic Rush. Alright. Thinking somewhere in the 90s, maybe? Okay. Maybe between Kirby 64 and Master of Darkness? Oh, I like Is that. Is that too high? I don't know, I'm seeing better than Wardner. Um... Below Silhouette Mirage. Okay, so we're getting in the area here. Oh, we're close. We're in that range. Apparently this game is also kind of short, so it doesn't overstay its welcome. Something to consider, too. I love that. Bump it up a thousand spaces. I hear around Beautiful Joe. I actually like that. Just below Beautiful Joe or just below Silhouette Mirage. Okay, so between Beautiful Joe and Silhouette Mirage. You okay. could make an argument for it being better than Avenging Spirit. And Beautiful Joe, yeah... That could outclass it a little bit. I'm seeing between Scylla Mirage and Magical Cat Adventure, and between Beautiful Joe and Balloon Kid. So, 
that, those are two distinct places. But around Avenging Spirit. Well, Avenging Spirit on the screen. Okay, so another vote for something a little bit more high up. Okay, I'm down. And, okay, you know what? I'm actually thinking about putting it a little bit higher myself. Chat, if I put this between Beautiful Joe and Avenging Spirit, uh, would you dox me? Don't. <laughs> but would that be okay? Would, Pick would your you... battles is what I'm saying, but... Fuck you, no. Okie dokie. Let's not <laughs> put it there, then. Higher, that's cool with me. After Joe sounds okay, okay. Real strong opinions tonight. Yeah, I'm... Well, you can scroll up, do it, between Balloon Kid and Nastal, I'd put it around Cool Spot. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, I'm pretty happy with Between Balloon Kid and Beautiful Joe. You know what? How about Between Balloon Kid and Beautiful Joe? 80s is too high. Okay. Um, well, if you don't have my address, I'm going to put Between Beautiful Joe and Avenging Spirit. But if you do, I'll put it above Beautiful Joe and Balloon Kid. <laughs> no, kidding. Um... Actually, that's a good question. Number one. I don't know what we have at number one. Let's check that after this. Uh, go for it. Do it. Okay. So between Avenging Spirit and Beautiful Joe, we down? Yeah, do it. Okay. Drill Dozer drilling its way in. Drilled right through the Avenging Spirit. Landed just below Beautiful Joe. All right. Uh, Nintendo and Game Freak. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for that. We'll have to play Timbo the Badass Elephant someday. I'm curious to see where that's going to land. Well, that's for us to determine. Fair. If he's not badass enough, then he's worse than Bubsy. Okay, we got one more game in us. We played one more game tonight, and that was arguably the best game of the stream. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory for Game Boy Advance. Is that better or worse than Bubsy? I see a tentative angel, Bubsy? I don't know how I'm feeling about it. Okay, For I... fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, this is a divisive one. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna actually read this comment. Uh, Oompa Loompa Doopity Dan. This game seems incredibly bland. It's alright, but not a lot of fun. This game is a bubsy. We're done. That's <laughs> fucking good. Thank you. Ow. I needed that. That raises the standards of all uh, votes from now on. I gotta say. I asked for all votes to be submitted with uh, a proper rhyme with meter included. Good. Okay, I agree. Okay, Nelson says we may not be able to get a fair assessment of Charlie because we didn't go through all the puzzle segments. Uh, but they True. say it's just above Bubsy. I could go either way on this one. It felt fine while I was playing it. It did have problems, like the spots where you needed to have the speed boost, but the speed boost is very... It's only active for a few seconds. Okay. And I could see it being a big pain in the ass later on in the game, too. Okay, I'm seeing either just above or just below Bubsy, and I also saw around Sour Patch Kids for the uh, lame candy bros. I disagree with that. <laughs> um, we'll make a candy list someday. Uh, apparently this has the same dev as uh, Spider-Man GBA. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know if this is worse or better than that, though. I'll um, fix that for you, Taizo. There once was a bobcat from Nantucket. Nope! Alright, we'll finish that later. Yeah, I don't... We'll, we'll, we'll finish in the Discord. Haikus are acceptable as well. Bubsy is more entertaining. Maybe. Below Arrow. Okay, that is, that's what I'm thinking. Around the Arrow the Acrobat Mickey Mouse Capade uh, era. I've, I've made great. my decision. It yes. is very slightly worse than Bubsy. Okay. I saw a lot of devils back there and thinking about it. Yeah, the game was okay, but it could definitely wear out its welcome. Mm. It's it's way better than I was expecting, though, right? I expected it to just be a complete piece of shit, and it turned out to be playable. Okay. Broke my brain. Hear me out. I saw someone saying it was better than Mouse Capades, and I saw someone saying other someone else saying it was worse than Arrow. So, split the difference between Mickey Mouse Capade and Arrow the Acrobat. Chat. Oh, that would be too easy. That would be too easy. But let me try this. Let but me are see we going to do that? Let me see if Chat threatens me with physical violence. Um, Between <laughs> Mickey Mouse Capade and Arrow... Fine with me. Yeah, that's good. I, sure. I don't think Holy the, shit, we've never done this! I don't think the chat is as evil as you're <laughs> speculating, Alex. That's but, fair. That's fair. But we also came to a quick conclusion sure, here. Sure, sure. Sounds perfect. Wow! Good. Beautiful! Oh my god, thank you, chat, because I'm very hungry for dinner. <laughs> we did something we can all feel good about. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Worse than Arrow the Acrobat, but better than Mickey Mascapade. That is... Who knew? Uh, 2K and Digital Eclipse. It honestly... Digital Eclipse, that's what it is. They're a company that punches above their weight. They don't always produce the best games, but no. 
even for something like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, there's effort involved, which you wouldn't expect from other developers. Good work, Charlie. Glad you got that golden ticket. Rest in peace, Augustus. <laughs> Sorry, you got made into uh, chocolate waffle lumps? What was... Well, who cares? You got made into some shit. You're... He's, he's dead. That's all that he's matters. He's dead. They're, all these children are dead. Thank God. Let and you know. with the death of Augustus Gloop, you know what that means. I have no idea what that means, Danny. I have no idea what anything means anymore. Danny, please tell me what... What does the murder of that child mean to us? That means that our job is done, we finished the stream, and it's now the weekend. Oh, Jesus. You get to enjoy the entire full-ass weekend all for yourself, because you suffered through Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So, enjoy it, won't you? Yes, please. Meanwhile, we're going to enjoy the time off, plus a little bit more, because surprise announcement. Yeah, surprise! In an effort to stave off... The, uh, the threats of, what is that thing called? Burnout. Oh my god, are we already so burnt out we forgot the phrase burnout? Yeah. We okay. don't We don't want to burn ourselves out, uh, out or off, so mm -hmm. we're taking next week off. I know you, you hate to hear it, hear it. I know people love the show. It's a bright spot in your lives. You love seeing those horrible GBA platformers. But we've been streaming pretty consistently week to week for many, many months, possibly yes. years. It's, I don't even remember when our last extended break was. So we're taking next Aww. week off to feel a little bit better, to give us a break from all these terrible <laughs> platformers. And when we start up the week after next, we will be recharged and ready to show you some real bullshit. Uh, yeah, a couple reasons Aww. for that. First of all, we want to avoid burnout. Second of all, uh, y'all heard the phrase hotter than Texas in July? <laughs> Cause, Cause, there is one thing hotter than Texas in July, and that is Texas in August. Yeah. And the room that we stream from, it starts at eighty degrees every day. And I looked at the forecast next week, all over a hundred. Beautiful. Just, just complete bullshit. I don't want to deal with that. Yeah. So with any luck, week after next, it'll start getting a little bit cooler. Uh, we can start uh, getting cooler heads during our mascot rankings. Not yeah. be Not be so. Uh, so willing to yell at children's games. Yes, and thank you. Also, thank you very much, Chad, for reassuring us. I was also like, oh, God, I, yeah. I have the streamer disease where I'm like, will everybody be okay And if I, I leave? And yeah. I knew y'all would be cool with thank it because you. you know how this works. We try to do as much as we can, but we want to ensure our mental stability first and foremost. Yeah, we want our brains to work so we can talk about Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Now, here's the good news. Uh, Monday after next... Philip CDI Showcase. Mm -hmm. Here's the secret. I got a new piece of hardware. It is a new in-box CDI mouse. So, Fuck. with any luck, we'll be able to finally finish off Escape from Cyber City and Thunder in Paradise. Nice, That's what's nice. on the docket for two Mondays from now. Uh, week after next Wednesday is Gravity Angels, plus a selection of other DVD video games as voted by our, by our patrons. So look forward to that poll as well. Mm -hmm. So we got plans. When we finally come back... We will turn your brains to shit with what we got. Yeah, and you're, that is you're, a promise. You're going to need the, the burnout vacation after <laughs> we're done with you. Ew, not like that. It's not a little threatening. Me either. Anyway, okay. that's what's happening. We're going to enjoy our week off, and mm -hmm. we'll be even better and brighter and with worse games when we come back two weeks from now. I Fuck hope you'll yeah. look forward to that. Alex, uh, wrap us up. I'm looking for a host. We're on YouTube, youtube.com slash RetroPals. We post highlights of our streams there, including our latest highlight, part one of our look at the worst of the worst of the Wii. If, do you like seeing horrible M&Ms on a beach and thinking about how awfully sandy they are? Then you will fucking love this highlight. I love M&Ms on the beach. Next week is a part two, and then after that, we have some shorter highlights of John Rhythm, which some of you may be very excited about. I know I am in Law of the West, so do keep an eye out for those. I am actually excited to put those up because that Law of the West uh, thing was mwah, perfection. That's one of the best things we've done. It's like 10 minutes of a cowboy being polite, and somehow mm -hmm. that's one of the best things we've done. And if you're looking uh, to keep up with RetroPal stuff while uh, we are... Uh, Apparently, I guess we're going to watch Charlie and the Chocolate Factory on vacay. Um, check out our Discord. It is uh, full of friendly... Oh, like it says, friendly chat, retro game discussion, and cat pics. Also, I was going off on Epcot the other day. Sorry about that. <laughs> but you get stuff like that. So do check it out if you want to hang out with chat without us. Well, we're there, but you know. Yeah, ready. definitely join the Discord if you haven't already. The, oh. the conversation there is good stuff. Mm -hmm. And thanks to everyone there who contributes. I, I love you all. Thank, Thank you. you for being so cool. You make our brains normal. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I have no idea what the hell Duke Donuts has in store, but the title of his stream is I Got a Bunch of new, Stupid New Crap, lol. 
<laughs> that sounds great. That's always good whenever Duke is uh, is involved. And guess what? He got partnered. <gasps> Yep, all the best people here on Twitch are suddenly getting recognized all at once. First Anne K, now Duke Donuts, oh, uh, Hungry yes. Gorilla got partnered a while back. Ooh. It's a, it's a good time. It is a good time for good streams on Twitch. So, go enjoy the Duke of Donuts. Have a good weekend, and we'll see you week after next. See ya, folks.